McCarthy, a glared son, Corla Conde Monaghan. Ireland is a great country, and the Irish people are a great people. Since my selection as a Sinn Féin EU candidate for the Midlands North West constituency, I've been meeting with communities who are heroically trying to make their towns and villages and parishes better places to live and to rear a family. And it has struck me that in almost every field, the Irish punch above our weight. In sports, our boxers, soccer players, rugby players and others have excelled, while the GEA remains the envy of indigenous sports across the world. In business, the Irish are renowned for their hard work and sheer grit. Our farmers are known throughout the world for the quality of their produce. Irish musicians, writers and artists have reached scales unmatched for such a small nation. Whatever the field, the Irish are known for our strong hearts and our determined nature. And the only area that I can think of where this is not the case is politics. The reputation of Ireland has been damaged by our politicians. <laughs> Irish, governments, Irish governments for too long have been weak, ineffective, in some cases corrupt. And the MEPs currently returned from the Midlands North West have been abysmal failures as our representatives in Europe. Whether they've been... Whether they've been Fianna Fáil, Fianna Gael or independent, they've accepted every diktat that has come from Europe. Whenever the choice was before them, between European institutions or the interests of the Irish people, they have, collectively and to their shame, rode in behind the former. They now... They now join our government in telling the world and the Irish people that we're in recovery. They tell us they're doing a great job. But all around us, we see a different story. Across this state, in many towns and villages, it's almost impossible to find someone between the ages of 19 and 30, Monday to Friday. The truth is that Fianna Gael and Labour, just like Fianna Fáil before them, see every emigrant leaving as one less person on their life register, rather than a loss to a family, a community, a loss to our economy, a loss to the Irish nation. The truth is, the truth is, that the political establishment have turned their backs on the communities that have been devastated by emigration. They appear oblivious to what is happening across this state. I ask myself if they see the villages with the closed shops and pubs, do they notice how the life has been um, drained from once thriving towns? Do they see and know that school boards are anxious with concern as to where the infant classes are going to come from in three, five or ten years' time? Do they care? As someone who knows at first hand what emigration really means. I'm sickened by Fianna Gael and Fianna Fáil politicians dismissing the impact of emigration, talking about lifestyle choices and telling us that young people will come back. My parents did come back, but the reality is that the vast majority of people who left this country from the 1950s to the 1980s never came back. Many countries today are richer in every sense because of the contribution of Irish emigrants. But Ireland is poorer because too many generations of our young people have been forced to leave. As a father of four young children and as a Republican, I want to see an end to the exportation of our greatest asset. And I want to see those who see emigration as a solution to their failures pay the political price. I want... I want the parents and grandparents who are angry and hurt by what recent governments have done make Fianna Fáil, Fianna Gael and Labour pay the price for the policies that have forced their children to emigrate. I want our MEPs who champion, champion austerity to learn what it's like to lose their jobs. A, a clear message needs to be sent on May the 23rd. We want investment right now. We want jobs right now. We want our young people in our country playing their part. A strengthened mandate across this island will ensure that Sinn Féin MEPs and councillors force a radical change in government policy right now. For too long, our politicians have been seen as walkovers in Brussels, an easy touch, happy to take a pat on the head while the EU moves further away from the collection of equal member states it was meant to be. But in May, the electorate can change that. 
We can elect four Sinn Féin MEPs delivering on a platform of standing up for Ireland, of honest politics and of a vision for a better Ireland and an equal Europe. If I'm elected to the European Parliament, I cannot promise the people of the Midlands North West that their lives are going to change overnight. But I do promise this. They will, for the first time, have an MEP that is part of an All-Ireland team fighting their corner, defending their interests and standing up for them and standing up for Ireland. This is... This is a great country. This is a great country and the Irish are a great people. It's time our politicians started to reflect that. Let's ensure that between now and May the 23rd, we let every voter know that they have a choice. And let's convince as many of them as possible to endorse, endorse Sinn Féin. Mara Gerran Shanuckle on Shanuckle Lodger Ní Volar Dá Féglech. Elections are but a moment in time. But the potential is there for these EU elections to mark a pivotal moment for change. Let's seize it. Gormila Mayag of Galer.